What's up comic and pop culture fans? This is James from Mint Hunter Comics. I was gonna make a video about what I found this weekend for under 50 bucks. But then, as I'm sorting through the comics I just bought, my cousin hits me up and says, Hey, you want a short box for free? So, let's go over everything I got from the weekend. The comics I picked up for under 50, and any gems in the short box, we're gonna find out. Alright guys, I don't know if you see down below, but we are real close to that 500 subscriber mark. Make sure you're liking, commenting, sharing, enabling notifications and everything. It looks like we're gonna hit it in November. My channel's only been around for three to four months, so I'm incredibly proud of how fast I've grown and the relationships I've formed with so very many of you. All right guys, first up, I'm gonna go over the items I bought before my cousin gave me this short box. First up, a couple dollar fines. This is Batman 610. Three months ago, I submitted mine. It got a 9.8 and I sold it and I don't have one now. So it's nice to have it back in the collection. It's worth a dollar, honestly. And then over here, we've got Battle for the Cow. Great story. I love this art. Highly recommend. It's a good read. I also think it's a little bit of a cool cover and it does have a little bit of a value, but I'm just going to keep it as a reader. One dollar. It's going to get progressively better, guys. We got $2.59 and $2.60 from Amazing Spider-Man, $2 each, very high grade, not 9.8, but I, I will absolutely take high grade Amazing Spider-Mans all day, $4 total here. I got these for $1 each. This is that weird second Vengeance of Bane. Bane's first appearance was in Vengeance of Bane number one. This is a few years later and it's Vengeance of Bane 2. It's kind of the sequel. Pretty cool comic. Can look very nice with a Vengeance of Bane 1 comic slab. Up next we got some pretty recognizable books and honestly I kind of pass over stuff like this because it's so common but when the price is right I will definitely grab it. The guy gave me three dollars for this and three dollars for that. Batman having his back broken by Bane. Very classic. There's like 2,000 9.8s floating out there. Thus, a 9.8's only worth like 70, 75 bucks in this, and you can sometimes get it for less. Lethal Protector number one. This is a 9.8. I will be submitting it in. Maybe I'll get that custom Venom logo. Cool to pick that up for three bucks. All right, guys, check it out. I told you they keep getting better. First appearance of Bloodshot, five bucks. First appearance of Ventriloquist and Scarface, another $5 right there. I actually just submitted this to CGC. I got a 9.6. I already own a 9.8, so I think I'm going to be submitting it again. It looks like a 9.8. Any Carnage fans out there? Because I just got, I think, is this, let me know in the comments, is this his third appearance? I think so. You guys know I love Mark Bagley, so obviously I had to get these. And the guy was actually asking $10 each, which I thought was ridiculous. But I made an offer with him, and I was able to get all three for 20 bucks. Not bad. I did it because I think they're all 9.8. I'm going to submit all three. Wouldn't it be cool if I got a 9.8 on all of them? Alright guys, last from my flea market finds before we move on to the short box and what a flea market find this was. Uh, this one guy had all these old Conans, they were in terrible condition except for one and it just happened to be the first cameo appearance of Red Sonja. So I got a couple Conan books to kind of mask the fact that I was buying this and I got five Conan books including and most importantly this one all for $10. Don't get too excited about that 9.8 price tag below. This is probably an 8.5 off-white pages, but it's still really cool and a piece of history. All right, so like I said, my cousin hit me up and right before COVID, someone was, I guess, moving, a friend of his, and they let him know that they're getting rid of comics. They just want it all gone. Nothing in here was bagged and boarded. It is all just raw comics. And I gotta say, everything looks pretty clean. I don't know if the dude even read it. So obviously that sounded really exciting to me. So I drove over to my cousin's house and we had a social distance exchange off of this box. So let's take a quick look and see if there was anything in here. So this box actually had some cool stuff. I felt like the best stuff was already waiting for me at the top. There were some cool reads even just for reading material. Like the books they're not super valuable, 
but they weren't lame. They were good reads in here. So I'm looking forward to keeping this basically as reading material. But I was going through it, and it was meh. And all of a sudden, boom, right here. So there's a little bit of gold in this pile. More on that later, guys. All right, guys. So my impression of this box was there's a lot of stuff that's surprisingly high grade. The only problem is it really is dollar, maybe two, maybe three dollar books in there. No, you know, no crazy items in here. However, I did find about maybe 20 books. My general rule of thumb is if it goes for over 50 and I really think it's going to get a 9.8, I will submit it pre-screen for a 9.8, meaning CGC can only grade it and slab it if it's a 9.8. Just a couple books I'd be interested in submitting. First one is New X-Men 150. Came back showing that it's like a $60 book, so I said, what the hell? It looks pretty much perfect. Nothing here is bagged and boarded, and I gotta get it in bagged and boards quick. Uh, then we got Booster Gold number one. Looks perfectly clean, might get it. And then here's a character I love, Terra, and I'm actually on the hunt for a 9.8. I have one that I think that might get it of her first appearance which I believe was New Teen Titans 26. Either way, wish me luck on that one, but I'll also be submitting this one with it. Just another quick two, this is Marvel Zombies 3, one of the variant covers. It looks pristine, I will be submitting it. This one's only worth $40, so I don't really know why I'm doing it, but I can afford to do this once in a while. Although I gotta get that 9.8. This right here apparently is like a $100 to $120 book. I have no idea what it was. I actually found this while looking it up. Glad I did. It looks like a clean 9.8 to me. I will be submitting it out. Wish me luck. I'm about to teach you guys a number one rule of submitting to CGC. If it's Amazing Spider-Man, submit it. Got three little Amazing Spider-Man issues I found in here. Uh, they're all going out. They're all unread, perfect 9.8s. And we're going to hope for the grade. All right, guys, this is 570 from Amazing Spider-Man and up. Sadly, the dude had 568 and then 570. All the variants and the regular covers, 569 was missing. 569 is the first appearance of Anti-Venom, and the second print, or I guess you would call it the variant cover, actually shows Anti-Venom on the cover. And that book's like a $600 book. I think the guy had it. I think he picked this box clean of that. But we're left with still a few good ones. In fact, I personally love this cover of Anti-Venom right here. I don't know if maybe that's his second appearance or third. But I think that's pretty sweet and we'll be submitting it out. All right, we're getting near the end now. Like I said, nothing crazy in here, but there was some cool stuff. There was a Spider-Man 24, which I believe is the first appearance of Demogoblin. I'll have to check my own notes on that. I know Jem Mint loves that book. Uh, he's even got a big wooden poster of it. Pretty cool. Here, the Invincible books are blowing up. I found issue 51. I will be submitting it. It's probably only a $50 book, but... It looks like it can get the 9.8, so I'm going to give it a shot. Deadpool fans, this one's for you. We got a Deadpool number one. Again, nothing was bagged and boarded, but uh, that's a pretty cool book. I will be submitting that out. I got high hopes for that one, actually. And I think this book might be on the rise. So guys, right around midway through checking out this box, I saw that we have the Hood number one. This is one of those more indie comics that has really blown up. The last known sale of a 9.8 was around $500 to $600. This book's a big deal and it's not one that had a big print count and it's not one that you find in the wild too often. I have to say I don't think mine was a 9.8. This is actually one where I'm gonna have this pressed and everything and submitted because even getting like a 9.0 is still very valuable here. I honestly think stuff like this is more exciting sometimes than finding Marvel or DC stuff because it's just so different, it's so weird, there is such a niche market for it. I think that stuff's a little bit cooler sometimes. Obviously, I prefer finding the occasional Batman Adventures number 12. That has never happened to me yet. But getting stuff like this is pretty cool, man. I'm pretty happy with this. All right, guys, so we actually pretty much got 25 books to submit to CGC, about 10 from this box here, and the rest just from what I found 
hunting around at flea markets and yard sales and things like that. So I'm definitely going to be submitting this to CGC. I want to get everything in bags and boards right now and get it off. I'm probably going to press some of these books, so I have to decide which are getting pre-screened and which are getting the full treatment. Not bad for under 50 bucks, right? You know, guys, sometimes it's tough. You know, I have two jobs. I work seven days a week. I actually draw cartoons on the side, which has gone semi-viral. I haven't really talked about that before. I maintain a YouTube channel, um, and I still find the time to go out and do these hunts at local comic book shops and flea markets and things, and getting cool stuff like this makes it worth it. A nice, well-spent 50 bucks. Hopefully I get some cool things going on here. Hopefully some historic pieces come back from CGC. Either way, I'm incredibly thankful to my cousin for giving me this freebie here. And he actually said there could potentially be more boxes, and I told him, keep them coming, man. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, hopefully I'll have something cool maybe the next couple weeks to show you. But in the meantime, keep on collecting.